welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. We are here for another weekly WW Grocery Haul. This week I shopped at Fred Meyer, which is my local Kroger store, and I picked up so many good things, and I'm so excited about what I am making for my meal plan and meal prep for the upcoming week. So if you wanna see my groceries, what I have in store for my meal plan and my meal prep, just keep watching. <laughs> grocery haul for the week. This week I shopped at my local Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. What is not shown is a couple of 20 packs of Diet Coke for my husband. So let's jump right in to this week's grocery haul. I picked up another container of my favorite Carb Master milk. This is a Kroger product. This milk is amazing. It is one smart point for a serving. It is the low fat ultra filtered milk. It is so good. It's just like regular milk. So it's nice to have on hand for recipes or if you're just craving some just traditional milk. And then of course, another fat free ready whip. I bought two last week and I still have a full one. So this is my backup so that I don't run out. You know, that's a big deal to me. So another container of my fat free ready whip. Also non-fat half and half. This is for a recipe. And I also like to put this in my coffee when I use my equal sugar packets, or if I brew a second cup of coffee for the day, I'll put a splash of this in it for zero smart points. Phi non-fat Greek yogurt. This is for my breakfast for the week. I am making a yogurt bowl, which you'll see in my meal plan and meal prep that we'll go over at the end of this video. Also some mild paste salsa. This was on sale for 99 cents. So I picked it up just to have on hand in the event that we need salsa for a dinner recipe. And I may make a salsa chicken in my crock pot. So picked up the pace mild. I also grabbed two large and one small can of chunk like tuna. My husband was requesting tuna fish sandwiches for the week. So this is a great deal. If you buy the large cans and a small can, it can make enough tuna to last throughout the week. Also a big can of crushed tomatoes. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. You know, I love my hunts. Also, I needed two cans of great Northern beans. I really like this simple truth organic brand. Their beans are so good. So I picked up two cans of the great northern and then a can of the diced green chilies fire roasted i got the big can because the recipe actually called for two cans so this was a better deal and it's just one large can which is equal to two cans for less money if that makes any sense and then i had a coupon for a simple true spice so i went ahead and grabbed another garlic powder i'll just put this in my pantry as a backup this is the one spice i use a lot of and a good quality garlic powder makes a huge difference also, I like some real bacon bits. This is for a recipe, and then I also like to put this on salads or baked potatoes. And then eggs, of course, I picked up a dozen of my happy eggs. And then the Wilcox pasture-raised with omega-3s were on sale for $4.99, which is a great deal for these eggs. They're usually about $8 a dozen. So these were $4.99 and these were $4.99. So I got two dozen really good eggs for $4.99 each. Also some bread. This is for my husband's tuna sandwiches. This is really good bread and it is three smart points per slice. So it's definitely something you can work into your day if you like just your traditional bread. And then I had a coupon for these and I got these for the Super Bowl. We're just going to stay home and watch it. And I'm, I'll put the points here. I'm not sure the points on these, but these are Budweiser beer battered shrimp. And it looks like four big shrimp is a serving. So I thought this would be kind of fun to have on Super Bowl. And it does have 10 grams of protein. So I'm going to throw these in my air fryer. And I thought what a fun afternoon snack, lunch or dinner on Super Bowl. Also, I grabbed the Simple Truth Potato Puffs. These are your traditional tater tots. I need this for an upcoming recipe. I just had a coupon for these, so they ended up being less expensive than the non-organic brand. Also, I grabbed the Simple Truth Organic Natural Chicken Breasts. These are individual wrapped breasts, organic. Again, I had a coupon, so it saved me some money on these over the conventional chicken. One pound of 98% ground chicken breast. This is zero smart points on both blue and purple and very low on green. And I actually needed this for an upcoming recipe. And before we jump into zero point fruits and veggies, let's jump over here really quick to these gold potatoes. This is a three pound sack and I needed three pounds of potatoes for a recipe. I like to buy just enough so that I don't eat them other times and also so I don't waste them. So the recipe needed three pounds, so that's what I picked up. Now everything else is zero point fruits and vegetables on all plans. 
I got two big 18 ounce packs of blueberries. These were on sale for $2.99. So that's a great deal. So that will be one of my fruits this week. Also my Meyer lemons. You guys know I'm loving these. I love them. And this is $2.99 for five lemons. It's enough to make it through the week in my water and any recipes that call for lemon or lemon zest. Also some strawberries, and again, they're not looking so great, but I've been really craving strawberries, and they were on sale for $3.50 for the pack. So that, along with the blueberries, will be my fruits for this next week. Two packages of Bird's Eye Steam Fresh Mixed Veggies. One of these is for a recipe, and then the other pack I just grabbed to have is a side dish with dinner. Five of the Fuji apples. This is part of my breakfast meal prep. So I got the pretty small ones just because I didn't want to overdo the fruit each day. And this is actually part of the recipe for my breakfast. And then last but not least, a big bunch of green onions. So that is my grocery haul for the week. So let's jump into meal plan and meal prep. So let's go ahead and jump into this week's meal plan and meal prep. This is my Carrie L meal planner. This is what I use every week to plan all of my meals as well as what I'm doing for meal prep. I love this meal planner. There are several great tabs. The first one is the resources tab, and this is where you can write down your favorite recipe, blogs, recipe sites, just really take notes on any of your favorite recipes. And there's quite a few pages here, so lots of room to take those notes. There's also a baking substitutions page, which which I love because sometimes I don't have it on hand and this really helps me know exactly what to swap out for. Next is the inventory tab. This is where you can inventory your freezer, your pantry, and of course your spices. So this is a great resource as well. We're gonna come back to the meal plans tab and spend a little bit of time there. There's the gatherings tab, and this is where you will plan out your gatherings. Similar to planning out your meal plan for the week, you can plan out your gatherings. Here are the meals that you're gonna be having, drinks, desserts, things for the kids, and of course all the supplies that you'll need, as well as a detail attachable grocery list to take with you to the store. I use this a lot over the holidays, any type of birthday party or event that you're hosting, such a great resource. And then there is the notes tab as well. And that's where you can just take some notes, whatever you wanna jot down. The pages are nice and lined and they are detachable as well if you wanted to take them with you. And then in the back of your meal planner is where you're gonna find this fun little two pocket folder. And I use this every week actually to store my recipes in that I'm gonna be creating that week. So very very, very comprehensive. Let's go ahead and jump into the yellow tab. So we're gonna go ahead and spend some time here in the meal plan tab. The first thing that I wanna show you is that there is a at a glance monthly calendar for every single month of the year. What I use this for is to track what I'm planning on making for dinner each day of the month. That way the night before I can take a look, see what is on my agenda, make sure that I have the meat taken out of the freezer and also make sure that I have all of the ingredients on hand. So it just helps you not be able to make a meal because you're short ingredients or your meat is still frozen. Also, the other part I love is the weekly menu. Now again, I just track my dinners because I meal prep my breakfast and lunches, but there's plenty of room here for you to track all three meals that you're having each day of the week. There's also the detachable grocery list. I use that every week, as you know, it's the my grocery list that I take to the store with me. And I just love this meal planner. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And again, weekly menu, menus, monthly menus, you cannot go wrong. So let's take a look at this week's menu. So my weeks run Saturday through Friday. So we are currently in the week of January 25th through January 31st. And then the month of January is over. I cannot even believe it. So for Saturday, as I mentioned in my weigh-in video, we're going to the Texas Roadhouse for dinner. That's the day that I use my weekly. So I never really plan a dinner. Sunday, I'm really excited about this. I am making tater tot chicken pot pie. So you're gonna see this recipe in my what I eat in a day that's posted next Wednesday. But hello, pot pie and tater tots. Yes, please, that sounds amazing. Monday, I usually have leftovers because I go to jazzercise. Tuesday, I'm gonna make a loaded baked potato casserole. And again, this sounds so good. I love baked potatoes. And to put it in a casserole form, 
even better. Wednesday's leftovers, it's a jazzercise night. Thursday, I'm gonna be making white chicken chili. It is still cold here, we have snow, so chili just sounds really good, and why not change it up a little bit with some white chicken? And then Friday, I'm gonna be making a baked pasta, and I've been liking having pizza or pasta on Friday night, so that's been kind of a treat for us the last couple weeks, so I'm gonna carry on that tradition with a baked pasta for Friday. And then on the back of the weekly menu is where I plan my meal prep, so everything is convenient in one area. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be making my cinnamon apple yogurt bowl. I'm excited for this. I'm probably going to pair this with some eggs, but what a great breakfast. Wait till you guys see this recipe. It sounds so good. For lunch, we're doing chicken parm meatballs with marinara. Okay, again, sounds amazing. And then I'm making no-bake cookies. I cannot wait to share you with this recipe with you guys. These are extremely low, smart point, delicious no-bake cookies. So again, you'll see my meal prep uploaded on Monday. So that's my meal plan, my meal prep. This is my Cariel meal planner. Cariel did offer you guys a 10% discount. My code is here on the screen for you. This is the old cover. I'm just still working through last year's meal planner, but I already ordered the new cover, new meal planner. I'm just about through this one and I can't wait for my new one, but 10% off a very beautiful, comprehensive, must have tool in your weight loss journey. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the groceries that I picked up this week and that you are as excited as I am about what is in store for my meal plan and for my meal prep. Everything sounds so good. I'm so incredibly excited. You will see my meal prep uploaded on Monday on Meal Prep Monday, and then you may see the other dinners periodically throughout the next few weeks in my recipe videos. If you're new, make sure you're checking out the description box down below. You'll find any discount codes, links to some of my favorite things, as well as the link to join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join our community. We are 13,000 strong. It is such a supportive, amazing, community. You can have your questions answered, any support, any rah-rah cheerleading, and we're even there if you need to vent. So definitely head over and join my Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and that you hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up for grocery hauls. Leave your comments down below and let me know which of the meals I showed you are you most excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! What's it like? To be the one that he turns to when he